Hey guys, so I thought I would try to do a voiceover for this kind of video because I don't think I've ever done a voiceover for a journal entry video. Um, so right now I'm starting off by taping my spine just where the flap is with some masking tape just so that um, paint doesn't seep through to another page and then I'm gessoing but I'm only really gessoing the flap. Um, I didn't really feel, I just didn't feel like gessoing the whole thing. I didn't see a need so I didn't. So now I am just going to be painting the background for this page with some acrylic paint. Um, just some dollar acrylic paints and then I believe some Liquitex paints. taking some old book text, I think this is just from like a dictionary or something, and I'm putting some, some uh, collage podge, the glossy one, on the paper and I'm going to try and do a transfer. And so I'm just starting to peel away the, the paper and there was some um, ink that did transfer but it was kind of hard to get the paper off so I put some water and started to take it off with the sponge and then just started to use my fingers because I thought that was easier. And it did sort of work, but um, I've had better luck in the past.
transfer wasn't completely successful. I still like the look that it gave it. it gave it this really like, I don't know, old look to it. And I, I liked how that looked on the page. putting some masking tape on the page to give it a little bit more of a older look. And I liked how that looked on the page. And I had some lace. I have quite a bit of lace that I bought at a Goodwill or a thrift store one time. So I just cut some pieces. I cut two pieces and I'm just gluing them down using the glossy um, collage podge. But um, I don't know why I put it all over the page. <laughs> I was trying to, you know, seal the tape down, but then I realized that I didn't want my page glossy because. Um, the pages will stick together if they're glossy, so I felt like that was just a waste of collage podge. So now I'm just putting another piece of lace down, and I couldn't figure out where I wanted it, but I figured it out. So I knew I didn't want the page glossy, so I went over the page with some blending gel uh, from uh, from Folk Art, which is kind of glossy, but it doesn't. The pages don't stick together. So now I'm taking some cornstarch and just going over it when the paint was still a little bit wet, just to kind of mattify it even more, which did work. Um, kind of clumped up in some places like in the lace but I was like well this kind of works it was cool now I'm taking a stamp that is like the dates of the month stamp a date stamp <laughs> and I'm stamping that on the page mostly where there was the tape and then I just took a squeezy bottle and uh, it had watered down paint in it and a precision tip and I just wrote art and then happiness and I had some white paint so then I had this little cylinder that uh, had tape on it but I used all the tape up and I thought I would use that as a stamp so I just got some acrylic paint and was stamping that all over the page because <laughs> I just liked the little circles everywhere And then I took a date stamp and was stamping that everywhere as well. So I thought I'd give you guys a close up of the page so you guys could try to see the transfer. It's very not well done, but it did transfer a little bit. And I just liked all the little details in this page, like the stamps and the lace and everything, so I thought I'd give you guys a close-up of it. So that is it for today, you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!